Hello everyone, I'm Adam with AEW Main Treasure Adventure. We are back for the third video at Metagascal Pond. Let's jump right into it. Our first find was this. I have no clue what it went to, but we found it. Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. Larry's back. back, back. Tell a friend. friend, friend. Besides Larry and I under the water cleaning up the pond, let's go topside and check out who else is here. I know for a fact we are not the only ones here today. I got a few friends with me. We've got Rob and Adam with mainly dirt fishing and We've got Ezra with Easy Digging. Like, follow, subscribe to their channel. I'll put a link in the description down below. Get excited. Ground's moist. <laughs> hey, lead fishing weight. It's great to get these out of the water so birds, fish, and turtles don't eat them as it will cause lead poisoning if they eat enough of them. Speaking of lead, a lead fire bullet, some trash, some more trash, We got a pop top. Bottle cap. That's what I'm talking about. What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? A U.S. coin. It's a quarter. I got the D. D buckle. This video is brought to you by the letter D. We got a penny. We got a dime. Next target, another quarter. Oh look, 
Another penny. Freshwater mussels. A lot of my prior videos that I have mussels in them, I talk about how they are beneficial to the environment. The downside about them being in the swimming areas is people can step on them and cut their feet pretty bad. Make sure you always protect your feet by wearing water shoes. There are millions of mussels here. Back to collecting pennies. Let's see how Larry's doing. Every single target. Larry was just off to the side or in front of me. Checking out to see what I was pulling out. Well, we have an unfired bullet from a twenty two. Bottle cap. Another fired lead bullet. A penny. Another coin. It's a dime. Next target, another penny. Larry's back. This is Larry the Bass. Larry likes my interesting facts so much, he wanted me to tell you guys this. Smallmouth bass, even though they are called smallmouth bass, aren't really a bass. They're actually part of the sunfish family. One trait that makes bass so successful is they protect their nests from predators. Every year, when Larry's wife lays her eggs, Larry is tasked with protecting the nest. He says he spends weeks guarding the eggs and juvenile bass to ensure that they are able to venture off on their own. That's right, I did say Larry's wife. Larry is actually going to bring us over to her and introduce Thanks us. That'll be in video four. This is a cool find. It's a heart pendant. Thank you. 
I got a small nut. Plastic cap. It goes to the bottom of a chair or table. This was so deep, I pulled out my digging tool. Wow, that's what's left of this shovel. Another fired bullet. Penny for the piggy bank. better. We got a dime. This is the first. I've never found one of these in the water. It's a stylus pen for a tablet or a phone. Got a nail. I'll tell you a little secret now that Larry's a little bit further away. His wife's name is Carrie. Next week's video, which is the fourth video at Metagascal Pond, I'm gonna show just about everything that I pulled out of here, along with everything that I found that day. Make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified the second that video is ready to go. Larry and AEW out. I'll check you on the next one.